Hi guys! I actually can't win today. I tried to film this video early in the day. I will insert some footage here so you can see exactly how well that went and as a result treated me really unkindly and I... <laughs> it's about loving yourself the way that God loves you. <laughs> this is a serious subject. <laughs> video. I'm sorry if this was really disjointed. I've had to stop and start so many times because things have come up. But I, like I said, I just want to put it out there. If you're feeling that way, um, send me a message and we can chat. And um, yeah, like I said, I was in a very, very dark place and it took a long time to get out of there properly. But I came out so much better in the end. Oh, I think it's time to call it quits. Now the neighbors are doing something in the yard that is really loud. So I hope it's not overwhelming this video. Maybe you can't even hear it. That would be really nice. That'd be great. But um, <laughs> I'm just going to film this video. The kids are down for their naps now so I have a little bit of spare time. Today is our last video on our series on love. So of course February is a short month so it just feels like it flew by and all of a sudden I'm thinking I need to think about March's theme but we need to finish up the theme for February and today's topic is very personal to me. Um, and it's something that's not really a how-to video, but more of just a chit-chat video. So I hope that you do find it helpful. Um, but before we get into it, I do want to do some housekeeping. And that is to announce I have started my blog. I've been thinking about it for several months. And then I was just like, I want to get it going. And my sweet husband carved out time from his very busy schedule and helped me get it up and running. So it is live. It is christinekeys.net. I will link it in the description below, but yeah, it's just my name and .net, so it's easy to search. And there you will find additional content to what you find here. Um, I feel I can be even more personal on my blog and, you know, you can fit more into a blog post than into a video. So, um, well... You know what I mean. You know, you're going to sit down with a cup of coffee and read something, but you might not necessarily sit and listen to someone ramble on. I don't know. That's what I think anyway. So I hope you will enjoy it and the content that I provide for you. Go and check it out. Let me know what you think. I've actually got a post up at the moment about daylight savings and how to adjust your kitties for that and their routine. Um, so that's going to be happening in New Zealand in the next couple of weeks. So go and check that out if that's something you'll be interested in. But without further ado, let's get on to the subject. <laughs> So the last topic I want to discuss when it comes to love is loving yourself, but it's not um, in the practical sense that I've spoken on before. So I have done a video recently, it was in collaboration with some of the lovely ladies from YouTube Mummy Meetup. Um, if you want to check that out, I will link it in the cards here. Um, and that was very much about practical steps to take to look after yourself, to make sure you're taking care of yourself. Uh, today I want to talk about something that is very personal to me that is um, on a it's just a different kind of loving yourself um, if you have watched some of my previous videos you may know that I am a Christian and my faith is very very important to me um, and so I want to talk about loving yourself in the context of my faith and I kind of have to take it back a little bit so um, when I was around 18 years old, I made some really unwise decisions. I was, and because of those decisions, I ended up in a very, very dark place, emotionally, spiritually, mentally. Um, and it was a really, really hard time. I want to say that in my life to date, it was probably one of the most difficult times. I can only think of one other time, and that was when a family member was very sick. So other than that, that was the hardest time I had been through. Um, but it was a time I learned a huge amount about myself and um, my faith. And I have always been a people pleaser. I'm a firstborn child and I think that often comes along with like the personality, the type A personality, the firstborn child. You want to be a high achiever and you want to please everybody. You don't want to be in anybody's bad books. And I struggled with that big time when I was younger. Um, and that kind of was the reason that I made a lot of those foolish decisions. I was trying to fit in and to please people and to feel accepted and loved. And 
I think part of the reason I didn't fit in so well is that I came from a family that was very secure. My parents were always very loving. Um, we siblings were close. Of course we fought like any siblings, but we were a close family. We still are a very close family. But some people that I hung out with were quite jealous of that, I think, and um, treated me poorly because of it. And of course, because of my personality, I felt like I needed to do something to make them like me. Um, and that I, there was something wrong with me as a person, um, that these people didn't like me or, you know, I was called the goody good and stuff like that. And this is not a like pity party for me by any means. Like I'm way over this. I don't blame anyone for anything. I take full responsibility for the choices I made, but I'm just giving you some of the context of what I'm talking about today. Um, so I made those poor decisions and I, I just thought I was unlovable, which is so silly because my parents and my family loved me so much. But, you know, you seek acceptance from those outside of your family because your family's supposed to love you. You know what I mean? Um, and so I did. I tried to seek acceptance outside of my family and then I was used because people take advantage of you. And some mean people take advantage of you when you're in that state. And all it left me feeling was even more rejected and even more of an outsider. And um, I loathed myself because of the mistakes I had made and the decisions I'd made. I just, I was like another person back then. And it was during that really dark stage that I learned to see myself the way that God sees me and not how others tell me I am or um, I see myself necessarily. And I came to realize fully and truly that He made me the way I am for a reason and that I have a purpose. And I am lovable because he loves me and he made me that way. And some of the things that other people would say are faults or would criticize me on, they make up my personality and who I am. And I'm not talking about like nasty faults, like being mean to people and stuff like that, but just certain tendencies. Like I, I think about everything hugely and some people might say that I'm maybe over analytical or something like that. Um, but that can also be used for good. And so I started seeing myself that way and I started seeing myself the way that God made me and um, realizing that I had great potential to serve Him and to make a difference in the world. Once I realized that, it gave me such freedom and um, I just, I wasn't scared to be who I was anymore, who I was made to be. And it's not to say that I haven't changed because I've changed a huge amount in those years. But my core is still the same and who I am is still the same. Comparison is the thief of joy. And if you are constantly comparing yourself to the woman down the road or the mother down the road who seems like she's got it all together, I can assure you it is going to rob you of your joy. And I can also assure you that she probably doesn't have it all together because like people are good at putting on a show. I'm good at putting on a show. I I can get up in front of a crowd and sing and people will say I look so confident when in reality I am like shaking in my boots. I'm terrified. So don't believe everything you see. Um, realize that everybody is human and you are human. You have been made with a purpose and you are lovable. You know, people are going to like you. The right kind of people are going to like you. If you've got people who are constantly putting you down and are mean and unkind to you and are condescending, you know what I mean? Just sometimes people don't necessarily have to say anything, but just the way that they look at you or treat you makes you feel really rubbish. And those are not the kind of people to surround yourself by. But if you are surrounded by them and it's a situation you can't get out of, I would encourage you to try and see yourself the way that God sees you and the way that He intends you to be. Um, if you want to talk to me about this, if you're struggling with it, please feel free to message me. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. I also, like I said at the beginning of the video, I have my blog. You can get in contact with me there. Um, but leave me a comment down below. Let me know, you know, are, are you struggling with this? Am I the only one who struggled with this to feel secure um, as who I am and who I was created to be? Surely I'm not the only one. I don't know. But yeah, leave me a comment. Let's start a conversation about this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you did find this video helpful. Um, maybe it's just something that struck a nerve. I don't know. But do like it if you did. And don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up to date. We have a whole new theme for the month of March that's coming out. I'd love to have you along. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time.
Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good job.